So what we're trying to get at here is that um, our hypothesis is that Man United players are going to run more than Radcliffe players. However, when we're comparing position to position, individually, Scott McTominay is actually more of a box to box midfielder compared to Nicky Adams who's going to sit. So obviously that means that Scott McTominay is going to be running more distance in the game anyway. Even though they're a similar position, the play styles are different. What I'm trying to get is the play styles of the individual players are going to have an effect on how much distance they cover in the game. Moving on. So we've just decided to put this in a tables format. Uh, as you can see here, we've got all the Man United and all the Radcliffe players there and all the Radcliffe and Man United for the team running distance just so that it's a bit more clearer for you to see. This is a mix of both primary data, secondary data and quantitative data. Uh, Radcliffe FC's data has been collected internally and therefore it's primary data. Manchester United's data has been collected externally using the source of Sky Sports, meaning this is secondary data. And the source that we used for collecting Radcliffe's data was inside the club using the Stats Force Vest. And moving on to the Stats Vest, this is why we picked it and what else we could have used. So for this assignment, we decided to collect our data using satellite data, which is recorded from pieces of technology that connect to satellites in order to track running stats, which is obviously what Radcliffe used. The piece of technology we have decided to use in this case is the Stats Sports Vest, which players will wear around the chest and back, with the GPA tracker implanted in the back in order to track the running stats. I believe this is the best way to collect data as it clearly shows how much, of this, how much distance the player has covered as well as other areas like sprint time and how many accelerations a player has done over a certain time as well as many other things. This is also good as it is a lightweight item, quick drying, compatible with iOS or Android and comes with an app for easy access, therefore allowing you to track whenever they want really. Um, one of the other available pieces of technology commonly used to track similar data would be Playmaker devices. However, we have decided not to use Playmaker devices with the reason being that they attach to the outer side of the football boot, which could lead to an effect on the performance due to extra weight, meaning our recordings of data might not be 100% accurate. As well as that, it can be more of a mental thing as well because you can actually visually see the uh, Playmaker device on the outside of the foot, whereas that's where you can hide under your top and kind of forget about it during the game. And with that data, it can uh, make a player determined to either maintain or improve the performance, uh, overall helping the team be more successful. How position affects fitness stats? So I touched on this before when talking about Scott McTominay compared to Nicky Adams. Uh, there is rarely an anomaly in which certain positions run more frequently than others. It is quite common knowledge that, for example, a central midfielder will run and have better fitness stats than a centre-back, and this will be dependent on different factors. If a team wants to play a different sort of way where they've got a high line, then the defence, the centre backs are less likely to do as much running as they're going to be in the same position for the majority of the game if they're dominating the ball. For a team 